uh, hello, good afternoon, uh, everyone. Uh, so uh, I am Shiva Prasad, and I have my colleague uh, Narayan Murthy here. Uh, we work for uh, IBM Linux Technology Center. Uh, and, the, uh, and the topic is uh, uh, PPC64 uh, 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 platforms uh, being P-Series and Power NV and the VFIO, uh, uh, sub VFIO and IONMFT support on these. So uh, uh, we uh, we have been uh, uh, working on, uh, I have been working on KVM for uh, well. KVM and Thank KVM for uh, Shiva Prasad, sorry. Uh, <clears throat> Okay, um, uh, am, I uh, am I audible enough now? So can you wait a second because we cannot see. Uh, are you able to hear me better now? Better now? It's fine, but wait a second. Yeah. How about I took presenter mode in the room, you tell me when I need to flip slide, it has to carry on. Is it fine? Uh, I didn't get you. Uh, I took presenter mode so that we can see your slides in the room. Uh, is that fine for you? Just need to tell me when to flip slides, just to... Carry on. Huh, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's fine. Yeah, so yes, yes, sure. Yeah. Free to go ahead then. yeah. Okay, uh, so uh, the slides are visible in the room. Okay, uh, that's good. Okay, uh, um, yeah, I have been working on uh, KVM and uh, uh, QMU for the uh, past couple of years and uh, last few, uh, maybe last one year, I'm looking at the VFIO uh, and uh, IOMEM UFD. So, uh, uh, good. Can we go to the next slide? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, when we're talking about P series, uh, uh, PPC platform, uh, PPC, uh, there are two uh, major platforms. So, one is uh, P series. Okay. Uh, there are two. Okay. Uh, there are two uh, uh, platforms. One is uh, P series, and the other is uh, uh, Power NV. So, the Power NV is the uh, bare metal, and uh, P series is the uh, para virtualized uh, uh, platform. So on the bare metal side, we have Opal, which is uh, 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 which is a firmware, which is also open source. And uh, uh, in uh, P-Series, we have uh, Power VM hypervisor, which is uh, uh, proprietary. So the the I/O side of things, when we say the uh, PPC I/O is actually uh, governed by the IODA architecture, and uh, the Opal on the platform on the uh, bare metal side, the Opal Opal and the bare metal Linux uh, do work with the uh, to work directly with the hardware and using the IODA and uh, 
uh, do uh, modify the uh, IOPS tables uh, directly. Uh, but on, uh, on P series, uh, the entire thing here depends on the uh, Power VM uh, hypervisor, and uh, this is uh, governed by the uh, PAPR uh, specification. And uh, uh, this uh, uh, this brings in a lot of uh, the differences in the way we actually uh, uh, manage the IO MMU on both these uh, platforms. And also, there is uh, quite a few differences because of the way one is being para virtualized and the other one is being bare, bare metal. The way the uh, Linux Abo would actually see the uh, uh, IO devices, basically. Uh, so, uh, to, to list a few, I mean, uh, on, uh, on, bare, on the P series uh, uh, platform, we would see uh, uh, on the, at least on the Power VM, uh, there is only single TC support, uh, but on uh, Power NV, we have uh, multi TC support. Um, and uh, there are a couple of hedge calls which are also uh, not supported on uh, uh, Power VM hypervisor, uh, but uh, uh, but the Linux on both the sides uh, work uh, uh, in a way to get things going uh, for VFIO uh, for the uh, for the user space. So uh, the support wise, uh, the so far uh, the bare metal uh, side, the KVM uh, was able to use the VFIO devices uh, on the uh, YAL one. And uh, uh, the user space applications were able to use uh, uh, the PCA devices using VFIO on P series as well. Uh, but uh, gradually, because of the differences that always existed, and over the time, uh, the, the the P series side of uh, implementation got broken, uh, which we'll uh, discuss. Uh, I think uh, uh, that is what the whole work and effort have been uh, over the past couple of months. Uh, maybe go to the next slide, please. Yeah, so uh, as you see, uh, uh, the because there is uh, there are two basic uh, platforms, uh, the whole thing is abstracted using the uh, by the IOM PPC IOMME API, uh, which basically has uh, two sets of uh, uh, structures and uh, operations. One being the table op ops, and the other one is the uh, table group ops, basically IOMME group level ops, and uh, they abstract out the differences that lie between these two platforms. And uh, they uh, and there is also uh, uh, for historic reasons there is a separate PPC subdriver, uh, which actually uses these uh, uh, APIs and uh, uh, get the VFIO working for the uh, user space. So uh, it was uh, it got broken gradually, and uh, there were there were many couple of fixes uh, uh, in the upstream and uh, one from Alexi the, that got merged uh, last year which was uh, that PPC never had IOMME ops uh, with uh, default domain and blocking domain, uh, which, go, which, pro, which got introduced uh, la, uh, last year. After that, Power NV started working, but there were uh, some refactoring to get the platform domain. Uh, that also, uh, there were some breakages because of that, and uh, that also got fixed. And then, uh, 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 I mean, the Power NV got completely working there. Then the P-series, uh, 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 with having the KVM uh, uh, support recently, the use cases, uh, uh, the use cases and the workflows uh, really got bloated up, which started expose, uh, exposing more and more bugs in the P series side. So uh, basically, the first thing that came to us was that uh, the single level TC support, which always existed on P series, uh, was actually lost uh, during the refactoring for the multi TC support on Power NV, uh, which was brought back. And then uh, uh, the platform uh, uh, P series actually has the uh, 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 I mean, uh, it has, uh, the, I mean, it's not just the P series, the PPC has the DMA window and it gives the better isolation uh, facility, uh, 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 better isolation uh, for the uh, devices in the DMA, uh, for the DMA, uh, which was also not available because of the, uh, because the way IMMU table ops were designed for P series was actually borrowing the tables, not really, uh, 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 creating and removing on-demand kind of a thing. So uh, basically, uh, uh, we had to re-implement the uh, table group ops on uh, uh, P series, uh, which we did. And uh, with that, uh, basically both the platforms right now are actually in sync uh, uh, when it comes to the way uh, uh, the table group ops and uh, IOMME APIs are actually expected to uh, originally ex uh, envision to this uh, envision for uh, uh, work. So. With, uh, uh, with this, uh, uh, right now, uh, the state is that the VFIO works on both the platforms. Uh, so moving forward, uh, the next slide, please. 
So uh, with the with the IOA APIs having, uh, uh, I may uh, need to ask uh, you to get to the point because we got we are ready late and we have five minutes to go. So sure, sure. I have uh, only one or two slides now. That's it. So uh, with the with the table uh, uh, with the IOMMU APIs having fixed, uh, we are actually uh, heading towards the uh, PPC IOMMU FD support. So maybe we could hurry this along. Like okay, you're not going to get platform um, specific ops in IOMMU FD. You yes. have to implement an IOMMU driver. Like this is the only way forward for yes, us. correct, is correct. You have to implement probably two IOMMU drivers. One for NV and one for the other one, and just please, just do it. Just get started and do it. Um, you don't have to have them be fully functional. You can protect them with config flags so that you know they're development only. But just make some IOMMU drivers. Start with simple ones, and then come and bring ones that have the KVM support and all this other stuff that you want. Because we can. Yes, uh, we are actually into it. So, yes. Uh, we actually saw a detailed uh, discussion in the mailing list uh, during the IMMFD RFC, and we are actually uh, uh, going ahead with that uh, proposal and the uh, uh, and the design uh, uh, proposals that were made between uh, Jason and uh, David Gibson. We are trying to implement that uh, uh, what was actually already discussed, and uh, uh, we are actually trying that now. So it would be basically having. Uh, 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 multi, uh, two DMA windows within the single aperture, and then uh, uh, also uh, we are. Uh, I mean, it, we we are we actually uh, try to get the VFIO compact uh, working for PPC. That actually we saw, saw a couple of uh, uh, IOPTL uh, conflicts, which uh, uh, which we are uh, right now hacking around with, and then uh, even the uh, what do you say? Uh, uh, it was suggested to use the uh, uh, S390 approach for the. Uh, 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 pre-registration that is required on the platform, which we are actually uh, modeling after the S390 approach, uh, which we were as suggested. So, and uh, uh, that's where we are actually. So uh, we are exploring more and uh, we have some uh, uh, questions in the next uh, slide, uh, which are, uh, which we, as we, uh, which we came across as we are exploring. Uh, it is uh, not really a complete list. I think we will be coming uh, more to community with uh, more and more as we, uh, try to get it working. Yeah. So um, yeah, this is uh, just uh, in the interest of time. So uh, maybe uh, uh, the way uh, uh, right now uh, a few IOPTL uh, uh, are being conflicting, and uh, uh, it was also uh, suggested to use a, a nested domain. Uh, but uh, is there a new? Uh, should we have a new IOPTL for it? Was not answered uh, in the in that discussion. Uh, I think we will uh, follow up more. And if you have any, if any of you have any suggestions, uh, uh, we will uh, take it uh, uh, even in the chat. At least. I really like you guys to focus on the concrete steps. Like this stuff is very, very far down the road. Like come with an IOMMU driver that can run the DMA API for your hardware. Like it doesn't have to be perfect, but you need to start there. That's the very basic thing. We're, we're not going to be adding compatibility stuff for SPAPR until you've shown that you can implement the entire new interface in a way that you don't need the compatibility stuff. So it's really, really, really far down the path. Does that make sense? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, we are on to it. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll come back more uh, with more questions to the, the community itself. Yeah. But, like, I think, uh, you know, once you get your basic driver, then you can come with a proposal for how you want to do your nesting. Um, and we can sort of talk about it in detail. And you can, I don't know, er error notification seems like it's something that shouldn't be that bad now that we have the, the fault notification and the event mechanisms built into the VIO MMU support. Maybe that's exactly what you need. But uh, it, it's hard to talk about until you have the, like the, the basic driver that you can start to hang this stuff off of. Um, yes, and, and you need to do the stuff yes, that somebody uh, already did, where they they move to the common DMA ops. That's also really really important. Power is the last meaningful architecture that still implements DMA ops, and I really want you guys to get off of that. Yes, yes, uh, uh, we are actually working on the RFC. Hopefully, we'll uh, uh, we'll post it soon. Yes.
So if there is no further questions on your side and from the audience, I need to wrap it up. I apologize for being 10 minutes late, but well, we had technical issues at the beginning, so just to give everyone a fair chance. Any questions? Thank you very much for your presentation. Thank you.